this year. Patriotism shouldn't just be about pride of country. It should be about love, love beyond age, disability, sexuality, race, religion, and any other labels. Because the second any of us judge people based on those labels, we're not really being patriotic, are we? So let's try this one more time. Close your eyes. Picture the average Joe or Joan or Juan or Jean-Luc. The real people who make America, America. And this year, whenever you feel the urge to don those star-spangled shorts, set off fireworks the size of my biceps to show love for our country, remember that to love America is to love all Americans. Because love has no labels. Hi, welcome to Talking About. It. I'm John Griffith. I'm Car. I'm still Car Killed Up. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I love that PSA. If you guys will watch it, like, when you edit this, you, people aren't going to see it, but it, I love that PSA. I don't know how to say his last <laughs> name, but Cena. I love him. Cena. John Cena. John Cena. Yeah. Fireworks as big as my biceps. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking about fireworks. Ooh, we got Aaron Paul tonight, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show, Aaron. Hey guys, how are you? Good. Good. Oh, Happy great to, to see have you. you. I know it's like what, like my fifth time now. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Thank you. It was, it was such a surprise. I, got, you know, I haven't heard from you for a while, and I've been doing my thing. Yeah. And then I got jo Jonathan hits me up, said, you know, we'd love you to come back on the show. I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. Like, oh my God, you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> You're unforgettable. Oh well, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it's for like, sure. Well, you guys just see we grow up, like literally. Like, because I think this was one of the first uh, U.S. shows I went on. Oh, wow. Well. Like, really? Like, oh, gosh, like, what, four years ago when Something I did like I, that, I Don't yeah. Care? It was one of the first shows I came on. Mm -hmm. And now we're, what, five years later, four years later? Yeah. Yeah. So you see the, 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 pro the progression. You've been up to uh, quite a bit, sir. I have, I have, I have. I'm a busy mm -hmm. man. I'm mm -hmm. very grateful that I'm very busy. I'm, and, I'm, and, you know, I put a lot of work in, in what, what I do. Yeah, and, you do. Mm -hmm. And to see, you know, where I've taken it and, and the stuff that's, you know, happening. And literally just, you know, spreading my seeds, if that sounds good. <laughs> 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 no, because, you know, at first, when, when I first came on, I literally, you know, it was, a, it was it, after a huge gap in my career from the European Simon Cowell days, the boy band, yeah. and then coming here, you know, thinking I can do a solo thing. Yeah. And kind of, and I set my, my, my margins. I said, I'm going to concentrate on the LGBT community and also the dance music community because they're, they're small enough that I can handle. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I don't have a machine behind me. I'm a one man, you know, in mm -hmm. the days of social media, I can control it in those boxes, yeah. you know, and, and if I can get, you know, and make it kind of universal enough that the mainstream will catch on later, right? you know, and I'm now at that stage where the mainstream, a lot of the mainstream is now kind of caught up. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> and, you know, and I'm very grateful for that. And, you know, well, but I don't forget my roots. <laughs> no, no, you don't. No, you do not. No, but look. you know what? I was like sitting here, uh, like we were talking so much earlier in the green room kitchen. Mm -hmm. And, um, <laughs> but uh, the new, the new single is, is called. Uh, fashion. Hashtag it's fashion darling. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fashion, darling. But have you, you know, and, and uh, like everything surrounding that, you know, I was just thinking now, like, have you always been this interested in fashion? Or is it Do like you know what? Um, I had very young parents, and they were very hip and mm -hmm. young, and, you know, they were basically you know, in their late teens when they had three, three boys. So, you know, they made sure when they went to work, they looked, you know, crisp and sharp and up with it. Yeah. You know, and... You know, and they made sure that we had the best clothes and we had the yep. best sneakers every month. Every, I mean, everything we wanted, we had. Um, so that was my my taste of fashion. I, you know, I, I can go to H and M or whatever mm -hmm. and pick. You know, or my parents would buy me that really stylish clothes or Benetton. Benetton yeah, yeah. With the, at the time. Yep. Um, with the bright colours and stuff. So that was my, um, you know, I must, I must have got the the taste for it. Mm -hmm. um, when I fast forward, when I first came to America, I did work very briefly in the fashion industry as a model booker. Mm -hmm. So I kind of had a little bit of you know, experience in there. And I found the fashion to be a bit too kind of harsh, <laughs> especially when I was in that role. Because mm -hmm. I mean, it's all about beauty. And you know, if you 
and it's harsh if you don't yeah. fit the requirements mm. there's no room for you. yeah literally <laughs> and that's just not me i'm too nice you know to to everyone you know yeah. to, to turn anyone away or, well, you're or to genuine yourself. yeah mm. i mean I'm smart, you know I'm, i have a bit of a heart um and then you know presentation i'm a, very much a showman mm -hmm. and that's no. you know <laughs> you know that's and that's because of the era i grew up in when you when you saw a celebrity or um artists especially the artists that I adhere to, I mean, they were larger than life characters, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, on stage and off, yeah. you know? So I kind of had that kind of aesthetic already within me and somehow fashion just kind of creeped in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I like it, I'm glad. <laughs> kind of creeped in. And, you know, working with, you know, the man himself, Montgomery Fraser, the, the, you know, the, um, the image guru. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was gonna call him the fashion guru then for some reason, the, the image guru. Um, I mean, he, he is an iconic fashion and music man. He was the dude who literally put music and fashion together, mm. yeah. and which I grew up watching MTV. He was Me the too. fashion director mm -hmm. at MTV. So everything you saw yeah. was from Mon Montgomery. Well, you know, I, I think it's, it's um, I really hope you guys work together li more because it's such a, <laughs> yeah. Do you it's know what? such a great fit. You know, everybody says it and I see it. Um, Especially when I saw the, you know, the, the, the outtakes of the video, I was, just, I was hysterical <laughs> because I thought, I want to see more of these two guys. I you know, do too. Who, who are, you know, <laughs> like if, if it was a, if they had their own TV show, do they, you know, mm -hmm. it leaves you, Wanting after you more. see it, the chemistry, well, it does. I, and I, mean, I watched the video a couple times, I told you, and I'm like, <laughs> who the hell are these two? Like, I know who you are, but right. you know what I mean? I'm just like. Do you know what? what? I don't know. Thank God. I mean, it, it's. And he's, he's a remarkable man, and I'm very blessed to even just even sit next to him. I mean, mm -hmm. especially with his, his history. And to see I how... I like it. <laughs> yeah. And I agree. I mean, and I, f I, I will, will always have him in my life. I mean, just as an as a individual. Well, let's share the, the video with the audience. Yeah, please. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I want to yeah, watch it again. Good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's take a quick look at the video now, and uh, we'll be back in, in a couple of minutes. Hello, this is Kathy from Soho News, and we're on the red carpet talking with legendary celebrity stylist and image guru, Montgomery Fraser. Tell us, Montgomery, what's your advice on people who follow trends? Well, interesting question. I believe in life and style. Most trends are cyclical. In fact, to the point of being prophetically biblical. Uh, when first they're served by anyone who dares, those trends are recycled for everyone to share. Then fashion, they become, and around the world it's air. Because that's what we in the biz tell everyone to wear, to wear, to wear. To wear. Mm -hmm. It's fashion, darlings. With Paris Hilton. I feel so good. I know. I got so much style to drive you out. I'm coming for I got the power. I'm fashionista. So much style to drive you out. I'm coming for it. It's fashion. It's fashion. It's 
Well, she was extra and she Fan of Street Fantasy Magazine. Cosmopolitan Vanity Fair. All the PYTs and fashionistas are front row seat. They're clamoring for the latest trends, so serve them well. Let's give them hell. Fashion, it's fashion, darlings. Mr. Paul, Alexander McQueen has left the scene. Nowadays, it's all about the long return. Oh my, there's Betty Smith. She's such a quick Razi's day, give him floor in my Christian Dior. Madonna's and May, George Lane, Touche, Michael Mustard, and the Lawn. They're all front row seated. Let the posing sachet, the children are serving, serving, serving. So much start to drive you wild. I'm busy. The children are serving, serving. The children are serving, serving, serving. So much start to drive you wild. And divine. And shady and divine. Such a fabulous Cosmopolitan. Very fabulous. And divine. It's extra fabulous. And divine. It's fabulous. It's extra. It's fashion. Fabulous and divine. It's fashion. It's extra fabulous. Alexander and divine. Fabulous. Fabulous. The posers and preeners. Let's give Carly and Christian a call. It's extra shady on projects next run. Lady and divine. And divine. And divine. And divine. And divine. Let's make Billy Porter proud. Hey, 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 hey. This is my song, Montgomery Fraser, image guru. And that's that. We're working, Mum. We're working right now. We're working. Fashion. That's awesome. Who the hell busted into that room? <laughs> that was my mum. No. <laughs> we were being kicked out from fil you know, for filming, and yeah. like it was, it, we actually filmed the, the video over three days at FIT, uh -huh. the, you know, the Fashion Institute here yeah. in New York City, and that particular part of where we shot that part was the actual night of the show. They would booked me to perform for their graduation class for, yeah. for this year. And and that was like the grand finale, and we wanted to capture the live footage on the stage. Mm -hmm. And some of the live stuff you see is actually real live from the actual show. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, there were some technical things that went, went went wrong, but we'd got all the stuff we needed three days, two days before. <laughs> but when we came to the live show, we didn't get what we some parts that we needed. So we're trying to catch up after hours. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they're kicking everybody out. <laughs> we're working and my here. mum's so must, must you know someone was supposed to have been sweeping or, or you know security like trying to everyone clear the building, clear the building. So my right. mum's knocked on the door and we're trying to catch these last scenes in. Yeah. And she go and I'm pissed. Of I'm course you are. Because mm -hmm. well, you know it's my video and, and we ain't got what we needed. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to literally catch catch it while we can and then we hear knock knock on the door and I'm like like furious, and it's my mum. <laughs> you know, we got to get out, and I'm like, "Mum, we're working." <laughs> <laughs> so that was a real moment, a very real moment. Yeah, <laughs> I loved it. I loved Thank the you. styling, and you know what? You and Montgomery have like in that video. It's so clear to me that you 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 created these two characters. Mm -hmm. What it are you going to do with them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there they was uh, they're both. You know, individually, they're very much who we are. Mm -hmm. You know, he is a joy to work with, such a professional. And he looks like he's a joy and to be around. But, you know, he, he's, and still can joke and hang. Mm -hmm. He's, you know, but still he has, th he has this dignifi dignified kind of personality and obviously, mm -hmm. you know, of, of his background. Yeah. You know, I'm, a, I'm, I'm always pinching myself when is, you know, when is my pumping going to take me back home? It literally mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. feels like that, you know, and, the people that I meet and that through him. I mean, these are people who I grew up 
you know, idolize him. Right. You know, and uh, here I am sitting at a dinner table and, and we're all, you know, all peers together. It's, it's the weirdest thing. But he, he's always himself and he knows when to play and when to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, I co I'm constantly learning from him, constantly. And I, trust me, I thought I knew everything, you know. <laughs> 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 and, and I've been doing it a long time, you know, and I thought yeah. I've, you know, but I'd, I've never met a man who has such class and, and as, as treats everybody the same. Doesn't matter That's what background. Class. And I was in the Hamptons this weekend. Um, oh, sorry. So <laughs> with, um, with a, a Jean um, Shatner's uh, event, and she's a real kind of high profile society woman. And, and the moment I mentioned Montgomery's name to her, her face just lit up. Because we all know who he is, mm -hmm. you know, especially he's, he's such a good man. You know, and that's and it's an honor to really work with him and to you know what we've captured here, you know, it's priceless. <laughs> and <laughs> Brian Griffin, the director, did a wonderful job mm. on the video. You said though that the new the latest video is being edited. This mm -hmm. this I guys I cannot wait to see <laughs> because you made a scene at the Lincoln Memorial. We really did, we really did. And I um, I mean I if, if when I saw it the story went viral. Um I wore a lavender luscious <laughs> Gown. It is luscious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this thing flowed left, right, and center, literally. Yeah. And they were, and, you know, and I saw the dress in Vogue, British Vogue. Um, a friend of mine repped the, the um, Deborah um, Chandler repped the designer, and she she'd forwarded the picture, and um, I said, "Bing, I want to shoot my video in DC." <laughs> <laughs> I need that dress. <laughs> With that dress, could you could you hook that, hook that up? And she said, "Yeah, absolutely." You know, and you know, sometimes these things kind of filter out, and they, they they don't come come to life. And the day actually came, and here I am, literally swanning around <laughs> DC, you know, which is a very you conservative. You were swanning around. <laughs> <laughs> you were. Oh, it was hysterical because there was one, one of the <laughs> monuments, the Lincoln Memorial. I mean, it was the casual day at the Lincoln Memorial. It was 105 degrees, <laughs> and it out comes, you know, the SUV, you know, this pop star dude <laughs> <laughs> in a luscious lavender gown. And I mean, we literally we saw people's faces. And it was hard for me to contain mm. myself. I mean, <laughs> could, could you imagine like a regular <laughs> Sunday afternoon and a guy shows up at one of the most, you know, iconic national monuments. A solemn place. <laughs> <laughs> solemn, right. <laughs> and starts, you know, parading around. In He's not from <laughs> here. <laughs> I mean, we, and the security actually came out because you know, most of it was guerrilla style and it was uh, off the cusp. And, um, and we wasn't offensive to anything, you know, we, we, right. you know, we, we were in and out. and. You know, and the song is, is for my song called Dance America. Mm -hmm. And it's about, um, yes, we all got our differences. We're all different colors, shades, backgrounds, genders, whatever you want to throw in the pot, we all are. But for five minutes, I want to say, let's just dance as one people. Mm -hmm. And that's why the song is called Dance America. And to choose um, uh, DC, which is our political, you know, capital, mm -hmm. you know, it just made sense to do it there. And, <laughs> you know, and, and extra sense to put on a, la a luscious lavender dress. <laughs> 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 but you know what? The, the, the weirdest thing, we didn't get any hate that day. And there was every walk of life literally at that Lincoln Memorial. That's good. That Especially is something. Now. We got nothing but praise and love that day. So well. that shows you what America is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, if a guy can show up. And I'm not even American, I'm, I'm British, you know. I mean, I've, even though I lived most of my adult life here. <laughs> um, the luscious lavender in the dress. <laughs> there you go, there you, that's what to do. Maybe that's the way to, you know, to get us as one people, putting on a luscious lavender gown, you know. <laughs> 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 and what was interesting, that later on that evening, we, sh we um, did a fashion show, um, and I performed that. And I wore uh, Stars and Stripes, um, Escada. I want to see that. I mean, it's stunning. I mean, and we literally had, I mean, it was, it was given to me by City Opera, yeah. um, which I was their diva for this year. And they said, you know, they said, well, you can have anything in the store for being our diva. I said, well, can I have that? And it was a literally a, an Escada sequin stars and stripes dress. Oh. And they said, sure, they literally put it in a bag <laughs> right away. I mean, this story, I mean, it was worth thousands. I mean, but the thing is, I can't wear a complete dress, so we kind of customize it. And I took it to a tailor, and they literally split the legs down yeah. the middle, and they were like, it's a sin, you know, that's a sin to cut this. I said, just, look, just cut it. <laughs> 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 Even it, I know that's right a sin. sin. <laughs> and it, it, I mean, it was starting with doing the show, and I wore it, it kind of had to split, and my legs came forward. Yeah. And obviously, it, the fashion show was in this DC, 
we've got political people, we've got you know, high society of the DC era. And we were kind of nervous, are they gonna be offended that I'm gonna be wearing this Stars and Stripes and Scarlet dress, being as I'm not American. Um, but, and there was also some army veterans also there. Mm -hmm. And we did the performance, it was, it was great. And later on that evening, we went out to, um, you know, our so a few joined us for, for dinner, and some of the veterans said that they actually very felt very proud that I wore that, that dress, as, a, as, as they were Americans. Yeah. Because it, maybe it takes an English man to put on that dress, mm. you know, who's gender fluid, to remind us what America really is. Yeah. So oh, you look fabulous. Do we have any pictures? Yeah. Um, we yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we, we, we have a few. We can, we can scroll through some of them. And Mum and Gummery look great as well. I mean, we, yeah. we, we, we had a great time. Ugh. That's that, awesome. that, that was actually at FIT, that one. But I think there's another one that's coming up with the American. Yeah, we can, we can yeah. kind of run through them. There's Mum Gummery right there. Oh, he there. looks great. I like his hat too. Yeah. I mean, he, he's one of the most stylish individuals as well. He would have to be. <laughs> really is. <laughs> For for his life experience, that's your logo. Yay! <laughs> okay. That's the album. Now that's Times Square. We shot that. Okay. I love that. Very nice. Can't see the dress. I want to see that dress. <laughs> that's a great photo of you. Thank you. Yeah. I didn't get it. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Is that a backstage? Band. Yeah, that's that's that was the, the performance at FIT. Okay. The finale night. I mean, we were just clouding around back there, but that, that's that picture's called Shady and Divine. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Who's Shady and who's Divine? Take a guess. <laughs> there you go. You're Shady. <laughs> what was this? Um, that was done by a good friend of mine. That, that, that's DC. That was the night we did okay. the performance, right? And that's Montgomery. We're in Milan, Bhutan. And there I am with the Stars and Stripes. See with the split? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Deep in thought. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> there was no luscious lavender. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, next time. But the video. Yeah. I think we, the September that the, that video comes out. Okay, good. And I promise it's going to be so much fun to shoot that video. <sighs> it looked like you were having fun. We did. There was there was um, an article that we had about you. It was on abc7.com. And they listed a, a YouTube uh, link for uh, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. And he's in this dress, and you looked fantastic. And then, you know, I had mentioned this before when we were talking. He turns around, and the whole dress is like, oh, whoom, and you around. see the train right. of the dress. <laughs> it's, it's fabulous. And we literally had to, you know, because we had a certain amount of window to, to, to shoot in. Yeah. So we're trying to hit every monument. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Make it look, you know, beautiful. It's not a small it. area. Uh, no, no. Well, I know, right? But we had an SUV that kind of carted us around. I mean, it's 105 degrees. <laughs> it, it was literally one of the worst days in hell, weather-wise. <laughs> you know, and I decided to put on this dress. So you know, and obviously you got to look a certain way in this dress. But literally, when you know, when the camera got, stops rolling, we're literally like, you roll the dress up and just, you know, <laughs> run to the, the next spot. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the poor designer. Um, the I do who designed the dress, I mean, she's having a heart attack. My dress, my dress. <laughs> 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 but I didn't damage it, thank God. Uh. No, I don't think, it, no. It may have very sweaty, but. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth it. It totally was. I mean, I, that's one thing I, you know, I live, I've always lived my life very much on the, on the spontaneous, on a whim, and mm -hmm. enjoy it, enjoy what I do, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that, that will definitely go down in the book as one of the, you know, but the people who know me know that's not unusual for me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't <Seriously>. imagine. <laughs> because I'm just, uh, you know, I've always been that one to just do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, and like I said, just showing up at the Lincoln Memorial in a, in a purple, a, a lavender, <laughs> luscious, luscious dress. lavender dress. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sure the only man in history has ever done that. I'm sure, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, we got nothing but love that day. You know, that's it, wonderful. Part of it is because of you. Your your personality is pretty infectious. Well, thank you. Yes, <laughs> and I already told you before. Like, I think Aaron has the best laugh. Mm -hmm. Well, I found the only one for me. I've got the only one of guts to do it. What have I got to lose? Nothing. So plenty mm -hmm. to gain. Yeah. Oh, you know and that hat too. Yeah. Just yeah. the whole style. Oh, that. <laughs> <sighs> and then, you know, Montgomery styled that too as well. I mean, we literally had you know some camo leggings underneath it, some Dr. Martin boots. Mm -hmm. So we kind of butched it up underneath. It looks well. fantastic. Yeah. You know? 
But you are you to the tenth power, and that, that's that's wonderful that you can you can be that, and we're in a time where you can do that because you're a very over the top person, and <laughs> you're, I think you're you're a novel act without becoming a novelty act, and that's oh, well that's thank you, man. a delicate balance, and and I'm, oh, I'm grateful it. that you make the time to come and visit. Oh, us. anytime. I'm like I said, I mean, I, you've seen the growth of me, you know, from I don't care to what you see now. And you know, now I'm working with Montgomery Fraser and you know, next year it'll be somebody, you know, it might be somebody else, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, but those well, two guys, you. I want you guys to do something with those. You could probably do some character sketches. You should well, consider well, it. We, we have a few, <laughs> we have a few looking, because everyone is asked, everybody. And like I say, even when I saw it, you know, when the video was being edited, I, I was mesmerized, because well, I wanted to see more. Yes. Mm -hmm. They look like they belong on, on a show together or something. Yes. You know, and it's, we are totally, literally ourselves, and, and it's organic, literally, and, and, and it's a pleasure to, to work with such, such a man of, of, his, of his class, his caliber, and his personality. Well, you know, I yeah. mean, it shows, I mean, the way, mm -hmm. it's evident, I'm just, yeah, it's na a natural, natural fit. Well, who knows? <laughs> we, might, we, might have, we might have something in the works, who knows? You know? Okay. Well, when when it, when it comes oh, to fruition, definitely, you, know. you absolutely have to come yeah. back. Oh, absolutely. And both of you. And you know, he he regrets not being here. We yeah. had to literally spread ourselves thin. <laughs> no, know. I get it. But I get it. Next we are time. So grateful that you're here. Oh, yeah, thank you. It's time. always a pleasure. And always, thank you for having me every time. You guys, you know, mm -hmm. so I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. I'm John Griffith. I'm still Cara Kilda. And we will see you next time. Talking about. for the Street is a nonprofit organization providing backpacks containing basic food supplies, hygienic products, and information to the homeless of New York City. To find out how you can help, visit backpacksforthestreet.org. To find out how you can help them in this mission, go to the website backpacksforthestreet.org.